no. Hey, they're in the cult. They need the gospel too. I'm not done making my point. That right. was Satan that came up and tried to distract Mormons me. are under delusion. Yes. I'm not worried about this. Listen. Now, you said the Roman Jewish Wars was the end of the first century. Now, when did the Lord preach his gospel in his ministry? 30s. But you claim all nations to be saved. I guess the Edomites no, ain't no, no, saved. No. Only the elect out of every people. Okay. Group. Revelation so, 5. So, so, but all nations, so according to your logic, all nations cannot be saved. Only if all, the elect. If, not all nations. Everyone will so not be no saved. So no Edomites can be saved. God chooses whom he will out of whatever people group there are. So but you're not answering the question. So can Edomites be saved? If they was all exterminated, so how could so they be saved? Right. right? So let's say. So he's saying the Lord exterminated right, Edomites. Right, exactly. You let's said the Lord right. exterminated Esau. As a distinct people group, right. it doesn't mean there's no. So, so, so you mean saying, there's no DNA from that line. So, it, it's scattered abroad. Man, just like with the Northern tribes. He said, got it, bro. Just like with the But they're no longer Edomites as a distinct ethnicity. Why did you say that? Obadiah 18 says they will be vanquished, and it's happened. So you said it happened. So therefore, yeah, you know, so you're saying the Lord did not come Edom. to save Edomite. Here's what happened. So yes or no, did the Lord come to save Edomite? You can't save a distinct people group who do not exist. You just quoted Obadiah. Can't, yeah, because they're gone. But okay. When it, when were they gone? Let me ask you this. Before or after the Lord's ministry? No, because the invisible man does not Number exist. You understand the concept? You run in a circle. Numbers 24 and 14. Can now, Darth Vader be saved? Now, no, because he doesn't exist. And now, so, <laughs> I will go to my people. Hey, Matthew 5 on that, y'all. Matthew and 5 now, on that. And now, That's behold, Matthew 5, bro. behold, I will go unto my people. Listen. Come, therefore, I will advertise thee what this... People shall do to thy people in the latter days. In the Ooh. latter days. Latter days, sir. Latter days, by and large, are once Christ comes and marks the beginning of the end. Uh, all right, after all right, and the Lord came, and what happened? So you're saying the, the Lord did grew. not come to save Edomite? I'm saying you can only save those who exist. You can't exist if people so, group but, who, but who's responsible for people dying? Oh, Yahweh. God. So you're saying God killed all the Edomites? I'm saying it's a distinct people group, yes, because that's what he said he was going to do. Okay. So, so you're saying the Edomites cannot be saved? I'm saying there are no Edomites to save. So that, this exactly, like, that means they're not getting circle? saved. You can't answer the Because they don't exist. You can't answer with a simple. Okay, let's do this. Let's do a, a thought simple experiment. Simple yes or no. Here's, here's the thought experiment. Did God save Esau, if yes or no? There was an Edomite around today. But you said that they're all exterminated. He could call upon the name of the Lord. No, I'm saying if. It's not a. It's not, Why it's, not kill all of them for a while? Because Why do you have a judgment for their laughing at their brother so you're saying, getting their butts kicked? So you're saying God did judge Esau? Yes, he did. And he exterminated them? Yes. And he did not save them? No. Oh, he's, I got it. You got it. I don't think you understand. You guys, you guys, I don't think you understand. You guys don't understand what I believe. Hey, listen, listen, you guys don't understand what I believe. I, I understand God good. saves whom he will out of what people, at whatever time. So, he's so, under obligation so to save So he did not nobody. come to save all nations then? Do you go back to the scripture? When Jesus came, there ain't he no Edomites to save pretty listen, much. Listen, listen. No, you said that, that but after that. Let's if Herod would have believed the gospel, he would have been a listen, Christian. Let's go back to the no. scripture. That's what I'm talking listen, about. Listen, listen, you you got, if he would have. Listen, if he would have. Matthew 24, it says, I'm not going to read the whole thing, but it says, the Lord going to rise up, and he's going he to he he uh, do violently. He's going to he gonna have Edomites possession. And so all this is going to happen in the latter end. When did the Lord have Edom as a possession in the latter day? <laughs> what? Like this it? has already happened. Don't you know? When? The Jews forcefully converted the Edomite kingdom. They didn't forcefully yes, convert Yes, they did. This is, okay, no, this, no, is no, no, this is basic. This is basic. No, This is white girl basic they, they, with a The Edomites moved, moved up in the Hebron. Yo, they yo, moved up in the Hebron. No, peep this out. Peep yes, this they out. did. Everybody knows that the only we forcible about conversion this. the Jews ever did, which by the way didn't go too well because you ended up with Herod, but a lot of was them, when they came in there and said Edomites, convert or not. But Other than that, they haven't done they proselytizing that way. They already had the same customs way. anyway. And the kingdom was so empty when the archaeologists discovered they were shocked. Prior to that, a lot of non-believing archaeologists had actually thought this Edom and Petra and all that was basically a made up thing. They thought it didn't even exist until it was discovered. Y'all know that. Skeptics yeah, didn't they're believe trying, they're that. They're trying to hide their identity, man. So, they're, they're trying to hide their identity. Okay. Yeah, but they that's already some had that's similar some customs to the Jews anyway. So well, once once they were in that area, yeah, because they're relatives, but they weren't. But they, they took over the, the southern southern Judah. We know that. Yes. We know that. And then they got vanquished. But but it was proved the Lord didn't come to save all nations. You can't save a nation doesn't exist. Can you save? You know. But you they, but you're Since saying you know that was put out of. Is, where's, is it, where's Black Panther? But from? you're saying that, listen. Wakanda, that you, right? Can you save Wakanda? But no, you, because Wakanda does not exist. But you're saying you that was exterminated after the Lord's, after the Lord was on Earth. They got exterminated. Is what you're saying? 
So why why would the Lord exterminate people if the, he was trying to give the gospel to all nations? No, no, he has mercy on who we have Edges mercy. Six. Exactly, he got no mercy for Esau. It is true during the time that was their role to be destroyed. I don't six, deny that. Seven. I don't think you guys then understand what I'm talking about. Said, it's what the shall covenant. be the parting? The elector from what all shall nations. be the parting asunder of the times? Or when shall the end of the first and the beginning of that follow it? And he said unto me from Abraham unto Isaac, when Jacob and Esau were born of him. Jacob's hand held first the hill of Esau, for Esau is the end of the world. Esau is the end of the world. The end's not here yet. And the end's not here yet. So the new Jerusalem has not come out in the sky. We're not in the kingdom. Okay? We're not in the kingdom of New Jerusalem with the 12 tribes written on the 12 gates. Go ahead. We're not out here at the party. We're not trying to vote everybody. We're just out here for a certain person. You guys are out there. That's the elect of the Bible speaks Oh, no, I got something for you. See, see, how come you can't bring something and then I bring something? Go ahead, bring something. Acts 26 is going to prove all this wrong. All right, y'all ready? On the next day, this is verse 23, Acts 26. Agrippa and Bernice. Yeah, came with great pomp and they entered the audience hall with the military yeah. tribunes and the prominent yeah. men of the city. Then at the command of Festus, Paul was brought in. And Festus said, King Agrippa and all who are Revelation present seven. with this, yeah. all so, who are present with this, that means there's so, non-Israelites so, so, in the house. You yeah. see this man about whom the whole Jewish, Jewish people traditionally, both in Jerusalem and here, shouting that he ought not to live any longer. But I found that he had done nothing deserving of death. And as he himself appealed to the emperor, I decided to go ahead and send him. But I have nothing definite to write to my Lord about him. Therefore, I have brought him before you all, and especially before you, King Agrippa, so that after we have examined him, I may have something to write. For seems to me unreasonable and sending a prisoner not to indicate the charges against him. Now, what I'm going to do is you look through Acts 26, there's a whole speech that is a back and forth between Paul and these official rulers. Now watch this. Here's the killer part. Acts 26, 24. As he was saying these things in his defenses, Festus said with a loud voice, Paul, you're out of mind. Your great learning is driving you out of your great learning is driving you out of your mind. Yeah, you say crazy. I am not out of my mind, most excellent Festus. For the king knows about these things and to whom I speak boldly. For I am persuaded that none of these things has escaped his notice, for this has not been done in court. King Agrippa, do you believe the prophets? I know that you believe. Why is he asking Agrippa? Oh, the not Israelite people. And Agrippa said to Paul, in a short time, would you persuade me, who's not an Israelite, to be a Christian? Now watch this, we're not done. And Paul said, whether short or long, I would to God that not only you, non-Israelite, but also all who hear me this day might become such as I am, except for these chains. Why did Paul want a non-Israelite to become a Christian? Hey, hey, remember when, remember when Paul got took in, uh, it was like a Roman dude, and he, he called him all oh, most, uh, most, uh, uh, what do you call him, all oh, most noble, something like that? Yeah. Yeah. He was just, he was talking the fuck out of there. So Paul is a liar. And every day your word says, he said, no reflection, but I didn't have a shot. You don't know. No wonder you guys think the horror is Paul, because they're both liars. Okay, I get it. I counter him. So here's what, I'm, here's what we got to do to escape the clear meaning of this passage. These men have to say, Paul is a liar. That's where this Hebrew Israelite doctrine leads you. That's why I'm going to leave it. We never said that. So Paul was lying. He doesn't want him to be a Christian. He didn't say that. But, I, but is listen, Paul lying here? Do you agree Paul's lying or is he just speaking outside of What did we just tell you a thousand times? Israel is as numerous as the stars of heaven. Say, just because somebody looks like an Edomite don't mean they're an Edomite. So you believe Agrippa must have been an Israelite? I don't know. Okay, so let's just say that's true. The wise say, I want you to be a Christian. You know what, what does the word Christian mean? Christ-like or disciple of Christ. What does the word Christ mean? Christ, 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 Olive oil. How is this answering What's the, the question? olive tree? It answers it perfectly. Go to the wild olive tree. The olive tree and the wild olive tree. So notice this. Here's your guys' answer. You just, everybody stop. You said, you said he's lying. You said he knew he was an Israelite. Who's right? What, what? He, he, Let's play uh, Jeopardy here. He could have been. You don't know. You don't. Family Feud. How about that? Family Feud. Which one of you had the right answer? You don't know because you, you, you okay. ain't agree this. Now, here's what happened. Once we get to a passage in your theology you can't handle, you play Duck and Weed. What book is that in? What book is that in? Acts chapter 26. Okay. That's all you see, Paul. Right? Now, listen. Now, what did Paul say about the Edomite? And if you're saying Esau, he said Esau can't be saved. He said, he said God hates Esau in Romans 9. So, why would he sit there and tell an Edomite? 
it would be safe. No, no. That don't make no he's sense. He's not an Edomite. He's not a Gentile. It doesn't matter. What I'm telling you, I don't, I don't know if you're it's claiming clear. that anybody can be saved. No, I'm not claiming anyone can be saved. I'm well, then, do you agree no, with us? I'm claiming only the elect will be okay. saved. Who's the elect? Whoever God predestines. Hey, Ephesians hey, chapter 1. What does that scripture says in Revelation? What is it? Seven? It says, all nations are kindreds, right? Kindreds, right? Uh -huh. You look that word up, kindred. In the Greek, it says, uh, so let me just get it. I don't want to mess it up. Well, Isaiah 65 and 9. I will bring forth a seed out of Jacob and out of Judah, an inheritor of my mountains, and mine elect shall inherit it, and my servant shall dwell. Why are you not paying attention, bro? The scripture says the scripture, the scripture says Jacob is the elect. Over and over again. Not all who are Israel are Israel. The Commonwealth of Israel. 